What are some potential electric safety hazards in your shop? We're going to find out next. Electrical issues that are not addressed may pose a potential hazard in the workplace. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, there has been an average of nearly 2,000 electrical injuries reported from 2014 to 2018, with an average of nearly 150 fatalities each year. While these hazards are not the leading cause of injury, they can still be fatal and costly. The following steps should be taken to avoid electrical hazards. Visually inspect the work area for electrical hazards such as flickering lights, warm switches, burning odors, loose connections, frayed, cracked, or broken wires. All electrical tools and cords, including extension cords, must be grounded through a built-in grounding conductor, the third prong on the plug. The ground conductor should not be removed. Do not allow the use of tools with damaged power cords or extension cords. Use GFI outlets where exposure to moisture is likely, such as in wash bays, restrooms, or outdoors. Keep access to electrical panels clear of any obstructions by at least three feet. All electrical panel circuits should be properly labeled. Electrical panel doors should be kept closed at all times. Any open spaces in an electrical panel should be covered with a filler plate. All junction boxes must have approved covers with no missing knockouts. Proper wiring should always be used. Flexible cords should not be used as a substitute for fixed wiring or run through walls, ceilings, floors, doors, or windows concealed behind or attached to building surfaces. Do not allow outlets or extension cords to be overloaded. Clean up floor spills immediately. Remember, never ignore electrical problems. These hazards should be corrected immediately by a trained professional. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.